So I'm going to begin Lucas Barsky. I mean, you're in paradise in this movie with uh, Julia Roberts and George Clooney. That's must, you must have worse jobs than this. This must have been a pretty fun one to make. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we, we we talked about it with George. I was like, I think I think it's it's going to be hard to top that. Like summer, Christmas in Australia on a private island with with George and Julia and everything. And it was like, I think I think I I I can't like set this as the normality. And my next job will be just a night shoot in the mud. <laughs> below 30 degrees, you know, I'm, I'm just prepared. I mean, your character's very sweet. Are you, are you quite fond of him? And do you get quite protective over your characters? I think, I think you, in order to be authentic with your character, you have to come from a place of love, you know? Even if he's a, if he's a bad guy or something, you start from a place of love, then you kind of, like, you know, travel through his traumas and what made him what he is. And it's just a question of understanding because we never, nobody's born mean or bad or traumatized or anything, so... Um, you have to love your character, and I, I love him because it's just so naive and 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 open to anything. You know, you don't you don't get to thirties, your thirties, with and and keep that level of of um, um, how do you say? Um, you don't you don't stay naive for that long, and and uh, so yes, exactly. So that's what I love about these characters. Like what what happened to him? How protected was he so he could like preserve? you know, this level of innocence till his 30s. I mean, it's interesting because obviously in Hollywood, there's been such a lack of really good romantic comedies over the last few years. This felt like a real throwback to the kind of the great ones from sort of 20, 25 years ago. But I know in France, there's still some great romantic comedies across the years. But I was just wondering what for you makes a good romantic comedy? What, what makes it, what makes them work in your eyes? Uh, you know, as there's a lot of, I think it, there's a lot of ingredients. I think also there's a, as we say, I think someone said in some, I heard somewhere in France, they were saying, we make, uh, we tell uh, s uh, complicated stories with small budgets. And in and, and the US, you make like simple stories with like big budgets. And it can, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, I think uh, it needs to be simple. It needs to be because a, a romantic comedy is just about like a simple, simple people just like falling in love and, and being clumsy and just, and 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 you just enter the little cracks of that clumsiness, and and then the actors just bring the the, the nuances and bring the the melody to the. It's like you know when you watch Love Actually, it's it's so rich. Every actor in this movie is just brilliant, and it, that that's the signature of the movie. That's quite a tricky question. So I thought I bet you probably wished I played a game. <laughs> but is it, I mean, this is a big role uh, for you, of course. I mean, just wondering, is acting something you've always wanted to do from a young age? Were you ever considering football like your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I play. I love football. Yeah. I love football. Um, it's. Uh, I think we should uh, talk about the fact that PSG yesterday. Uh, Are you won a PSG against, fan? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I have to follow my team. Yeah, my dad yeah. was playing for PSG, so yeah. I was really happy to see that. We're having dinner with you know the cast and the crew, and I was kind of you know <laughs> said yes, 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 and and I saw that we won against. Uh, uh, Juventus. I was yeah, yeah. pretty pleased. It's a it's a, it's a good week. <laughs> well, I'm a Spurs fan, so we can share Pochettino. I yeah. I love Tottenham. Yeah. I'm. I, it's my favorite English team. Ah, oh, see, I knew I liked you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, but I mean, this film. I mean, we sort of mentioned. I mean, it is truly is paradise. I mean, the 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 the, the way it all looks on screen. I mean, just the kind of the, the sea, the ocean, the way it glistens. I, mean, I just wonder though, for you personally, where's what's your paradise? Where's the place that means the most to you in the world? Um, it's actually it's a little. Um, you know Corsica in the south of France? Uh, so there's a, there's a thing called the GR20, which is like a trek, and you, it's a 17 days trek, and you cross from the north to south, and uh, halfway through it, um, uh, there's like a, a little um, old shepherd's house where you have like a abandoned, not abandoned lake, because a lake is, is never abandoned by definition, but I, I mean abandoned like kind of, it, it looks like human beings were never here except for this little shepherd's house, and he makes like cheese and, and liquor, and you have like wild horses. And, and ev every time I go there for like just three to four days, I, I just fully recharge, and, and it's there's no service, nothing, and this is my little paradise. Oh. Great. And just very finally, I had a question about Emily in Paris because I've always wanted to meet a French person, Emily in Paris, because we call it, or I call it Emily in Paris. Is it supposed to be Emily in Paris? I is it supposed to rhyme? And we're just, we're just calling no, it. No, no, th I, think, I think you call it what you want, you know? <laughs> I, I think, you know, it's a free world. Uh, you know, we, we're not going to get caught up on these kind of details. It's supposed to be fun.
I just wondered, I was worried I was calling it the wrong thing all these years. But thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I don't know, I'd plead you like Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.